Hello and welcome to episode 13 of Get Decked, the video series where I make budget Magic the Gathering decks for your casual games night and to introduce friends and family members to the game. Uh, in this episode we're going to look at a, a deck that I'm quite excited to talk about, uh, which is Magic Mycology, uh, which is a black and green deck, and I'm just going to say I am disproportionately pleased myself at that pun. But let's let's get into it. You can probably guess what the theme of the deck is from the colour combination and the uh, the name. Uh, before we get into it, let's just quickly refresh ourselves on the uh, construction rules of Get Decked. Uh, so these decks are 60 cards. They're designed for one we've won games. Uh, there's no format restrictions. We keep the deck kind of cheap using mostly commons and uncommons and cards that don't cost more than two US dollars at time recording. Uh, we limit ourselves to 12 different non-land cards, so basically like 12 play sets of three for a good mix of variety and consistency um, we sort of have low to mid complexity and just because it's casual doesn't mean the deck has to be weak or bad so yeah let's dive into this one start talking about it so deck list here uh, we've got 27 creatures 9 instants 24 land mana curve off to the side there let's, let's just start getting and looking at all these all these mushrooms so first let's talk about how we're winning so we're going wide basically with a bunch of like fungi and saprolings and um, we just got a bunch of cards that let us do that um, so we've got two copies of the Myco Tyrant, uh, so one in the black and green for an XX uh, with trample parent offers each, each equal to the number of creatures you control that are fungi and or saprolings and at the beginning of your end step you make uh, more fungus creature tokens um, with this creature can't block uh, where X is the number of times you've descended this turn and descend base means anytime a card hits your graveyard from anywhere it can be like because of they di they've died they've been sacrificed they've mill been milled from your uh, library whatever that counts as, as descending one so every time you've done that in a turn you get a little fungus dude so it sort of feeds into itself because if these you know if you just keep swarming with all the little fungus dudes that it creates and they die off or you find ways of sacrificing them then they're all going to die and yeah and then you've count descended so you you just make more so it's it's really really great I really like the myco tyrant um yeah really really nice card i think to start to win us off um we've also got two slimefoot the stowaway so one the black and green for two three uh whenever a sapling you control dies slimefoot does one damage to each opponent you gain one life and you can pay four to create a sapling creature token um so yeah obviously fungus uh fungi and saplings usually go um i was gonna say hand in hand that's probably not the right uh, right anatomy that they have but yeah there's usually you know this these synergies between them and we've got a bunch of cards in the deck that create saplings uh for slimefoot's ability to go off and so even if you don't make saplings with those cards he's got an ability or they've got an ability um to just make saplings anyway uh, so then we've got three Rot Shamblers. This is like a really nice card that um, I'd completely, you know, had flown under my radar completely. Um, and I only found out about it when I was doing the um, the Battle for Zendikar pre-cons, uh, what feels like ages ago. Um, so one in the green for a 1-1. One, one. Whenever another creature you control dies, we're playing a bunch of like little tokens who are just absolute chaff to get sacrificed. Um, Rot Shambler gets a plus one, plus one counter. So yeah, this could, I could see this getting out of control very, very quickly. And uh, definitely punching up more than it's you know casting cost of two uh, would suggest uh, so we've got three Synapse Necromage, uh, so two and a black for 3-1. Uh, when it dies, you just make two uh, black fungus screech tokens with can't block, so exactly the same that the Micro Tyrant makes. And we've also, in the same vein, we've got four two Katung Thalids, uh, just one green for a 1-1, one, one. and when it dies, you make a Sapling. So we've got a lot of, like, death triggers in here, um, stuff that, you know, that replaces itself when it dies, which just, you know, again, just ties into the theme of, uh, you know, we want these kind of little tokens to die, and, you know, just kind of, like, grinding down, like, going going wide with just a bunch of little tokens that we just keep swarming with. So we're going to talk about what helps us win as well. So these are ways to um, support the win condition. So um, first off, we've got three Spore Crown Thalid, which is really straightforward. Just one in the green for a 2-2. Two -two, and it just buffs all um, our fungi and saprolings. Um, just really straightforward, like Lord Anthem effect. Uh, so three of those. Uh, we've got three Jade Mage, the only non-fungus, uh, non-sapling in the deck. Um, just in here, because two mana for a 2-1, and it makes sapling creature tokens. Like, literally, the only reason it's in here, it's a repeatable um, token creator, which, you know, and it just benefits, um, you know, a bunch of other cards. It interacts well with a bunch of other stuff. So, yeah, I thought it was an absolute dead set to include. 
Um, and then we've got four underseller Myconid, uh, two in a green for a one, two. Uh, whenever, it, uh, whenever it enters the battlefield or dies, you make a sapling creature token. And it also taps to give you one mana of any color, which is always always useful. Like so, it's really doing a lot for three mana. It's um, you know, giving us two saplings and also um, you know, it serves as a mana dork. So really, really useful actually. Really useful little creature. Um, and then we've got three Thalid Soothsayers, uh, three and a black for a 2-3. Uh, you can pay two and sacrifice a creature to draw a card. We're making a whole bunch of little tokens, so yeah, this is nice. Just keep drawing cards. Um, it triggers off the descend of the Microty Micro Tyrant if he's out. Um, so yeah, just again, like really nice little um, ability just to have here, just to keep sacrificing useful, uh, useless little tokens just to keep drawing cards. Really, really like it. Um, and then a bit of utility here, uh, three fungal rebirths, uh, so two in a green, uh, you return a permanent from your graveyard to your hand, uh, most of the deck are permanents, they're obviously all creatures, um, that ends in speed as well, this is actually quite nice, and then if a creature has died this turn, which shouldn't be difficult, I mean we've got a whole bunch of little tokens who definitely we want to kill, um, and we've got some sacrifice outlets, then it then makes some sapling creature tokens as well, so yeah, really really nice. So then uh, we're also going to talk about what stops our opponent winning. So this is our ways to disrupt what they're doing, ways to interact with their stuff. Um, not a lot, if I'm honest. Um, we got three Consumed Strength, uh, which is a oldish card, which I'm actually very fond of, just because it comes from um, Apocalypse, which is an old set. And uh, yeah, I just have a lot of nostalgia for it, and I just want to include it. Um, but it's mostly here because it is serving as like a remo um, sort of a small removal spell and also a pump spell. Um, so it's a, a one and black and green, instant speed. Um, one creature gets plus two, plus two until end turn, and another creature gets minus two, minus two until end turn. And it's just crazy to me that this has, like, never been... Uh, well, I mean, it has been reprinted, this, like, from a from a dual deck. But, like, that's the only time it's been reprinted. I'd love to see this with, like, new art and stuff and a new um new frame and everything, but it is what it is. And also, uh, three, status and statue. Uh, so it's this little split card here. So you can either play it as status, which is um, a single Golgari hybrid mana, and then it's like a little combat um, buff spell uh, to give something plus one, plus one, and death touch to end turn, which is always a nice surprise to throw onto a sapling that might get blocked. Um, and then, you know, just, you just love to see your opponent's face when, like, they lose, like, a proper creature to, like, a little sapling that you just pooped out to a death-touching little, little mushroom dude. Um, and then statue is the other side, um, so two in a black and a green, and this is kind of like our sort of hit anything removal, it just, uh, it destroys an artifact or creature or an enchantment, so it's just, you know, kind of a bit of a silver bullet hits anything, but we've only got three of them, which is, which is a shame, so we're relying on kind of swarming out, honestly. Um, and then we'll quickly look at the mana base, um, so we've got four jungle hollow, which is just the black green gain land, and then 13 forests and seven swamps. I did look around, and I was almost certain there was some sort of land that made sapling tokens, but I couldn't find one. So if you if you can think of a better non-basic land than Jungle Hollow that like makes sapling tokens or like fungus tokens or like any sort of sort of token that like can be sacrificed or like let me know in the comments below. But yeah, you know, also just let me know in the comments below if you've got any suggestions anyway of like um you know different cards that you know you would put in the deck anyway. So let's quickly talk about what stops us winning. Um, so the most obvious thing is we are pretty weak to flying creatures. We've got no ways, we've got no reach essentially because, uh, you know, <laughs> I guess the mushrooms can't reach that high, which is a shame. I think there are probably a few like fungus or like sapling related cards that do have reach. Um, I just can, you know, think of any or like find ways to get them in. So yeah, we're kind of weak to flyers. We kind of just have to rely on like, well, we'll just ignore them and hopefully we win the race before we get overwhelmed by flyers. Um, the other thing as well is like, because we're going wide with a bunch of tokens, kind of weak to like sweep effects. Um, so either, you know, standard like, um, yeah, like big bounce effects or like destroy all creatures or like, you know, like pyroclasm effects. We're kind of weak against those. But again, we've also got ways that, you know, we've got things that benefit when they die. So maybe it's not that terrible, I guess. Um, also, I want to talk about the... Um, the you know the elephant the elephant fungus in the room which is Mycoloth I would absolutely love to include this card in the deck because Mycoloth is absolutely fantastic um, five mana for a four four um, has devour two so when it ends the battlefield you can sacrifice any number of creatures and um, it gets two plus one plus one counters for every creature at eight and we've got a whole bunch of obviously tokens and then at the beginning of your upkeep it makes more sapling creature tokens for every plus one plus one counter on it so it's 
like not hard for this to immediately start giving value well, not immediately start giving value but like it quickly um makes up for like what's eaten like if it eats two saplings it gets four counters and it starts pooing out four saplings um like every turn i say i would love to include it in the deck but it was above like the personal budget was set but if you were making this deck yourself and like you wanted to spend the like a little bit of extra money absolutely stick the my cloth in here um don't know what you would have instead you know what you'd replace it um you know to get it in there but like yeah it, I, I really really wanted to include it here but like just couldn't because of budget reasons um and also the other kind of elephant fungus in the room is all the um thalids from time spiral um who um you know have all these the, throughout they all have these abilities that rely, rely on spore counters and um they build up spore counters and you take off spore counters to make saplings um and a few of them have ways of interacting with saplings like death spore thalid here you can sacrifice saplings to give um a creature minus one minus one turn turn death spore thalid could definitely i think you could make an argument it could go in the deck like maybe instead of the um the oh god i can't remember it, the synapse mage like the one when it dies you make two um little fungus dudes so you could like replace death sports that with that and i did really want to i was thinking about including these but like there's so much focus on the spore counters like for all the cards to make it work um it just would have required like the deck being basically like a lot more complicated like a lot more fiddly um because i have played this, this deck before like back in time spiral when it was new and it was kind of fun, but it was also, like, a real chore to play. Like, you had to keep counting up all the spore counters and, like, you know, it was, it was very fiddly, honestly. So I could have done this, but I chose chose not to. But, again, if you like these kinds of um, these fungus, like these more original fungus, which they say play around with spore counters, and there's obviously, like, a lot of support for them, like um, Sporoloth Ancient and, you know, Spore So Thalid and, say, all these other things that um, use spore counters and sapling tokens. If you want to do that, you could absolutely... Um, adjust the deck to do it or even i would say these deserve a deck of their own really and just um those kind of old classic cards that helped help support that as a strategy but anyway i'd love to know what you think about this deck about these little mushroom dudes um stick a comment below if you've got any thoughts about the deck or like i say ways that you would change it um you know or th you know things that you can suggest that would cover its weaknesses um really like to know what you think about this one um but i'll be back next time with another get decked uh deck so i hope you join me for that but until then thanks for watching and listening and have a great day